Alright guys, this is Mr. Dragon on HD here, bringing you another video, another review on the map Hydro from the new Revolution um, DLC. Point. It's quite a good map. It is half like water and half land. It's like the under, underneath the like um, water station. Your there's a, a flow of water underneath where I'm standing now. Um, there's a water flow under there that, like, uh, when it when the sirens go off, the um, uh, the, the water picks up speed and can kill you. Where I am now is where the water starts. I was wondering if there was a way that you could survive it, but there was no way. Not even if you camp on top of one of the boxes inside there. <coughs> Be advised, but yes, yeah, sadly, coming. again, it happened quite often to me now. I forget to turn on my Elgato and actually record the actual gameplay. So, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, I'm actually watching this back and spectating myself in theatre mode. I think I'm using the Peacekeeper with the um, plus reticle on the reflex sight, the silencer or suppressor and the foregrip again. I think that's the best gun I've used so far. The only thing I can point out about it is how they actually change the gun's iron sights depending on what sight you have on. Usually when you don't have a sight on you have a three pin sight with a middle pin for um, like the most accurate pin but as you can see here when I aim down the sight you don't have that. You have like an iron sight at the back with a, a groove cut out of it than one at the front which I think personally would be a better iron sight compared to a three pin but um Clearly, they've decided that they're not going to do that unless that there's an attachment or something like that that actually makes it so you get rid of the original iron sights. Because I don't know many people who are actually a fan of them. But despite that, that is still the best uh, sub machine gun I've ever used, purely because of the damage. Like I think I'm finding quite often when I actually attach a silencer or suppress it to a gun, it makes it just more powerful. It's supposed to reduce the range and reduce the damage, but I don't see that. And all my friends say as well that um, it doesn't actually reduce it. If anything, it increases it. I think it might be a little sort of glitch in the system, which I can't see them having there for too long. Because they've already patched the MSMC and um, made it so the hip fire uh, white, like, I can't I don't know what they're called, but the white dots that indicate your hip fire range are now bigger. So um, you can't just hip fire straight up to the everybody, because that's what you used to be able to do, which is very annoying. I must admit, I used to do it myself, because I got the MSMC in gold. That's what I got my nuclear um, kill streak with. As you can see on another video of mine, I'm using the gold MSMC and quite a lot of them kills are hip firing kills. It's a bit hypocritical for me to say that, but it is overpowered as hell the MSMC, but I don't think it is anymore. I think they have actually reduced it. But more about the map, as you can see here, look, the water was flowing to the point where if you step in it or um, get near it, it just sucks you in and kills you. But you don't get to like, you don't actually ride it at all, you just instantly die as soon as you touch the water. So I was thinking maybe that's a fast way of travelling down the middle of the map, but it's not. As soon as you touch the water when it's flowing fast, you die. And obviously you've got um, the end of the map down there. It would be quite good, like on Hijacked, where if you were bored and you were just messing around a pipe match with your friends, like you could jump off the edge and not die until you hit the floor. Because with Hijacked, you stay alive until you actually hit the water and you drown instantly. Which I think is quite a good feature, but um, I don't think you can do the same on Hydro. But as you can see, it's quite a built up map and a lot of camping spots. So around this corner here, there's two camping spots that I missed one completely. So if there was someone sitting there, they would have killed me. I think I would go into a quad feed here, I'm not sure. Or it might be another gameplay, I'm not sure. No, it's, not, it's another one. But um, the water can be a little bit annoying sometimes. But as you can see, it's really built up and it's the whole map. It's just, I think it's full of camping spots, but not many people take advantage of them. I think everyone's just obsessed with a peacekeeper at the moment and is just running around with a peacekeeper trying to get as many kills with that as they can. I don't understand, well that's obviously personal preference, but I would think that the peacekeeper looks better without any uh, camo at all because it's just a nice standard white and blue um, gun for the normal skin which I think is just very nice compared to all the other ones. Like the guns are used at the moment. I'm being a bit of a new when I'm not playing Revelation or no Revolution that pack and I'm using the FAL select fire, which I do get a lot of abusive messages for that, but oh well. Um, I'm using that quite a lot because it's just an insane gun. It's, it's, I think it's like a two bullet kill and that's um, when you're aiming down the sight with select fire. But yeah, uh, I'm a little bit of a new when it comes down to using that. Should have killed it, that guy there. 
I don't think this is actually too good of a gameplay. Yeah, to be fair. I just think that um, it's just. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a first thought. So I think this is my first gameplay on this map, or my second maybe. I think it was my first. Yeah. Um, it's just a first thought. It's not actually meant to be an impressive gameplay. It's more about the review of the actual map more than anything. To be fair. But if you guys don't want me to release videos like this, and you want me to release things such as um, just good game, high score and gameplays, or high score and kill streaks. I will really more so I've got quite a few of games stored on my hard drive. I've got a 49 and 14. I've got obviously the one I've already posted, which is 30, 43 and 4 even, where I um, got my nuclear on Express, which funnily is my worst hated map, except um, just after Hijacked, because everyone seems to love Hijacked, except me, I think it's terrible. I think this is where I start getting a few more kills and start a bit of camping. But the reason why I was, um, I'm not sure if it is this gameplay actually, I'm not 100%. Hard point the annoying thing about this map is there's so many different places to be, like, Friendly not really ambushed inbound. because not many people work together on this, but just people just sitting around corners expecting you to come through because it's just such a, there's so many corners, so many camping spots just cut out in this map and it's, just, it's not a hard thing to camp. As you can see there, that guy was half damaged, so I put two bullets in him and killed him, but thus the peacekeeper can deal with that sort of stuff easy. I'm thinking that I might do a whole peacekeeper review and actually do a RPM rounds per minute and the whole accuracy thing and range and with different attachments like the long barrel and the suppressor and what difference they actually make because I cannot see any changes at all with using the suppressor, I can only see benefits. This way I get a bit of a camp on, so I was waiting for the water to pick up and see if I stood on top of that while the water was picking up speed, maybe I survive. But sadly, it doesn't ever actually come. So after a little while of camping around here, I do move on and um, run around again. But um, I think the best thing to be doing while you're like playing with a submachine gun is to try and control a certain area of the map and not just run around like I am at the moment. Completely free hand, just doing what you want. Um, point contested. This is where I get killed because I camped on the corner trying to get him, but he spots me. Sadly, kills me. Um, I'm thinking that maybe I will do one for every single map of uh, the Revolution and other map packs to come soon. I think they release a map pack every three months or two months. I'm not 100% sure. Um, they done it every two months with Modern Warfare 3, I think, including the face-off update, which we all got for free. Um, see, I don't know how that a Hunter Killer actually even damaged us at all, considering we're fully inside and actually underground, and the Hunter Killer, which is so overpowered for a four-kill streak, I think it's four or five, um, without getting like any tags on free for on them. Um, Kill confirmed. This is one of the most overpowered kill streaks ever, but I prefer the um, UAV because it's just a more. You get more points for it, really, because of the whole um, UAV assist. But this you is the end of the video, now, guys. Don't, uh, feel free to subscribe. This has been jo Mr. Juggernaut HD here. Thanks.